Welcome to my, demo my demonstration of the 10 kHz Greenbridge oscillator circuit. As you can see we have four stages in this circuit which will also be made on breadboard, which you will see after this segment. Let's start off with a power circuit. We can see that we have a symmetrical power supply with plus 9 volts rail, minus 9 volts rail. This will power the oscillation stage, clamping circuit and the amplification stage. Let's start off with the oscillation circuit. As you can see we have an op amp which has an inverting part with a gain of 2.068. Down here we have a bandpass filter which is calculated to uh, pass 10.6 kHz. And this will be fed back into the positive terminal of the op amp. With a gain that is just above 2, like in this case, it ensures oscillation would, will start. As you can see, right now, it has a frequency of 9.57 kHz, instead of the calculated 10.6 kHz. In reality, as we will see in a bit, this will be more like 10.3 kHz. Let's move on to the clamping circuit. In combination with the oscillating stage, um, the clamping circuit makes sure that the amplitude will be lowered. In this case, it is lowered to around 1.22 volts. So let's move on to the amplification stage. Here we receive the output of this oscillation stage, slash here, clamping circuit and oscillation state combined. And we can see that we have a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer with a 2 kilo ohm resistor here which would give us a maximum gain of 5. Well, in this case, we have a gain of 4.1, uh, since the uh, potentiometer is at 82%. So this means that we get a peak-to-peak -peak voltage of 4.97 volts, which is really close to what we want. So let's see that this or circuit oscillates. As we can see, we have two waveforms. The smaller waveform is the oscillation out waveform, so that is only the oscillation state with the clamping circuit. Then we have the other waveform, and that is the amplification stage waveform. Now we will continue on to the actual circuit built on the breadboard. This is the realized circuit for multi-sim on a breadboard. On the left hand side, we have the oscillation circuit with the clamping circuit, and on the right hand side we have the amplification circuit with the gain potentiometer. To show you that this, that this actually oscillates, it is connected to the MyDAC and to an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope gives us two waveforms. The yellow being the oscillation waveform and the blue one being the amplification stage waveform. It shows that the frequency is 10.3 kHz and the amplification stage has a nice peak-to-peak -peak voltage of around 5 volts with a DC offset of around 20 millivolts. We can also see that the oscillation stage only has a, uh, a voltage peak-to-peak -peak of 1.84 volts. The frequency analysis looks like this. We can also see here that the fundamental frequency is around 10.3 kilohertz with um, yeah peaks at multiples of 10 kilohertz, so at 10 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, and so on. We can also see that, um, let me move C2 real quick, I moved something in the circuit, I'm sorry. Let me move C2 up a notch, I cannot really do that apparently. Oh, I can. Well, we can see that we have um, if we just compare the lines here, 0 and around 30, minus 30, then we have a linearity of 30 deci decibels at a peak voltage of 2.4 volts. To show you that um, we can actually differ the values of the voltage peak peak on the amplification stage, I'm going to adjust the potentiometer accordingly. Right now we can see the voltage changing on the oscilloscope. Let me get a good grip on it.
Yep, we can definitely see the voltage dropping here. So let's see how flat we can go with it. Okay, so that's adjusted. Select channel 2. And lowering the voltage. Lowering the voltage gives us... Oh, I did something. Gives us a peak-to-peak -peak voltage of around 50 millivolts with a DC offset of... Yeah, around 30, 40 millivolts. While still remaining the same frequency with a lot of noise, that is. If we see the plot here, we can still see that we have a peak here at around minus 50 dB, and we have a peak here at minus 80 degree. So that means that we have still have a linearity of around 30 decibels. So this is the demonstration of my circuit in reality. I do have a few things to point out about the breadboard. I think the breadboard itself has a lot of influence on, um, yeah, on the performance of the circuit. Because a breadboard in itself is quite noisy. And I noticed that the capac this capacitor right here can do a little tricky. Wait, you couldn't really see it. The disk capacitor right here can be real tricky. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed it.